Hello, this is D and I'm back with another video. Well, the long awaited free sync variable refresh rate update for the Xbox One X has finally launched. Now, of course, the Xbox One S consoles will also be receiving this free sync support as part of the Xbox One Spring update. Now, this is now live on your console, so if you haven't already updated, please update to the latest. Now, I also have some really good news for all of you Samsung 2018 TV owners out there. The variable refresh rate and free sync option is now available on the TV with the latest firmware. So please download the latest firmware to your NU8000, NU8500, your Q7, Q8, and Q9 television. Now the Q6 is supported with variable refresh rate, but only the ones that are above 46 inches. So the 50 inch and above models will support it, but the lower range ones do not. Now I have to say this is a long awaited update and I can't wait to use this feature on my Xbox One X and of course my PC. Now I will be getting my Q9, I'm hoping to get it by the end of this week, if not early next week. So I will be having a review up on my channel and of course I'm going to demonstrate the FreeSync technology. Now this is exciting news for gamers, no TV currently has FreeSync, Samsung is the only TV manufacturer to offer this. Now I am a little bit disappointed that LG did not implement this on their 2018 OLED television but I guess we'll get this feature in 2019. Now I have asked some people up in LG and some other YouTubers and LG will not be supporting variable refresh rate or free sync on their 2018 models. Now this is definitely disappointing as OLED technology is really superior to LCD technology but with free sync and variable refresh rate it is going to push gamers towards the LCD. Now of course we know LCD gets brighter than OLED but OLED has those perfect blacks and that infinite contrast. But you're going to have to make a choice. Do you want that very low input lag of 7 milliseconds with free sync? Do you want tear free gaming? Do you want all of your frames to sync up automatically? Then you're definitely going to have to go with the Samsung that offers the free sync technology. Anyways, I want to know what you guys think. So please leave your comments down below. And like I usually say, please like, share and subscribe to the channel. And I'll see you guys on the next one.